a bow and arrow sport that is slowly gaining traction. Historically, it's been used for hunting and combat, but it has now become mainly a competitive sport where youngsters and adults engage it as recreational activity. 16-year-old Nura Isaacs is disabled. She was born without fingers and had to undergo reconstructive surgery for three months. Her physical challenges have not yelled her back from making a mark in the sport. The teenager says it's not easy to navigate her way around archery, but she makes it work. Sometimes it's difficult, other times it's easy, but I just keep remaining strong and a positive mind. I have plosters that help me um, to shoot, which really helps a lot, and like I get to the target. They shouldn't feel like insecure about themselves because that's going to really bring them down. And I was in that loop before and I just decided let me get up and do what's best for me. And I did, started archery which really opened doors for me. Meet a friend, 17-year-old Tyra Adams. She too fell in love with the sport. Adams says the sport has improved her mathematical skills, patience and discipline. Honestly for me I'd say it has helped me mentally a lot because with my schooling and the exams and being in grade 11 right now, it's really stressful. So this is my escape from that. It's where I can focus on myself right now. My mother woke me up on a Sunday morning and she said, come, we're going to go to this thing she saw on a Facebook post. And I fell in love with it. It's honestly been so fun. However, it's not just fun and games. Archery in the province has its own challenges. Challenges for us, I think, is the, the distances that we have to travel in Northern Cape because we want to get it out there. Also, finance, I think, as um, we started this year as uh, yeah, just by ourselves. I think it's two private people that started it out, but now it's grow grown so much. We've got to take um, two of our, our archers achieved um, South African colors. We want to take them to the national the international tournaments. And um, yeah, so the challenges financial wise and the distances we've got to travel is quite, quite a lot. This sport is in its infancy stage in the province. Well, to start with, to have the passion to work with children, to make them decision making adults, it's a disciplined sport. And uh, it also reflects in your school and your learning and uh, really to develop uh, children as well as adults. The SABC news team took up the challenge. After a few dry tests, they hit the spot. <laughs> These two archers hope they will excel at the international competition and will not drop their bow and arrow. Reginald Bidboy, SABC News, Kimberley.